Another example of a company that suffered desperately because they believed their own blarney is Wendy's. Now, when McDonald's was in deep trouble in 2003 to 2004 and getting out of it in 2005, etc., Wendy's was actually the poster child for good quality uh, quick service restaurants. And they were seen as being the people to go to if you wanted a, a good sound clip or a media bite on something related to the, the quick service industry. What was happening at the time is while McDonald's were in deep trouble, Mac, uh, Wendy's introduced a product called Garden Sensations. It was the first set of premium salads really in the industry, and that was hugely successful for them. But then Wendy started doing some research, and in some of the research they did, they measured 56 attributes for quick service restaurants, fast food restaurants. And out of those 56 attributes, Wendy's at the time found that they were leading the industry on 43 out of those 56 attributes. So Wendy's were constantly saying, hey, we're the wonderful guys in the industry on 56 attributes like customer service, speed of response, etc., quality of food. We are winning on 43 out of 56. And they kept saying that, and they kept saying that. However, while Wendy's kept saying that and saying what wonderful guys we were, McDonald's, on the other hand, who were down there in terms of perception at this stage, were saying that we're not going to improve our product quality. We're going to improve our restaurants on re-image. We're going to introduce new products that are more relevant to our customers. And eventually, we're going to leave Wendy's in the shade. And what has actually happened is Wendy's is no longer an independent organization. And I think a lot of it happened because Wendy, Wendy's believed their own blarney. And this is an attitude thing, and it comes to people, I think, particularly when you're successful, when you've had a good product launch or a good creative campaign, and people are saying, hey, you did wonderful, or you win some awards in the in industry. You then start believing too much of your own blarney, I think. How you avoid believing your own blarney, it is difficult, because you've got to believe in yourself. But I think there's a couple of things that you could do. One is that if you get yourself a good mentor, who will help you to stay grounded and is not afraid to grab you by the tie now and again and say, hey, sort yourself out. You're not as good as you think you are. The other thing is if you're a large organization, make sure you've got a group of independent directors who are not afraid to stir the pot now and again and ask probing questions. But when it comes to attitude, the thing that may well damage your business more than anything else is believing your own blarney.